Hey everyone, Galen here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install EPSXE. Um, if you go onto EPSXE.com and go to the download section, you're going to find the uh, EP, the latest EPSXE build for your operating system, uh, depending on you know which one you're using. And there's uh, a Windows build, a Linux build, a Mac OS X build, and there is an Android build. And the latest one for uh, at least for Windows is 2.0.5 and I'm using a little bit of a, of a different uh, an older one which is uh, 1.9.0 so I have that one downloaded and um, I prefer to use the older build since that tends to work a little bit better with PCS, PCSX, P, PSX emulation cheater um, which is something that I'm going to be doing a separate video on so I'll show you guys how to do that um, So this is kind of what EPSXE looks like when it's extracted. So you're gonna want to uh, Well, you're gonna first of all you're gonna need uh, PlayStation 1 BIOS which you're gonna have to uh, Kind of like search for that on your own, but I have a whole pack of them so what you're going to want to do, you're, you're just going to want to, once you have them, you're just going to want to copy and paste them into the BIOS uh, folder. And you're going to want to, you're going to need plugins also. And I happen to have a bunch of those. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste everything that I have in my plugin folder here that I've put together. Um... And I'm going to put that in the plugin folder and replace everything. So this is what your plugin folder should look like. And we're going to go back and we're going to launch EPSXE. Um, and then change the BIOS for your region. You would go to config and then click BIOS and then click select and pick the BIOS of your choosing. And 1001 is the one that is selected since I'm in the US and that is what I'm going to be using for the purpose of this video um, there's a lot of different things you can do with this um, if you go to config you can set up um, the memory card you can set up the video the sound your CD-ROM plugin. Um, I tend to use an Xbox controller for the gamepad. I'm actually going to plug mine in and grab my controller. So we're going to set up the controller first, and we're going to go down to gamepad and pad one. We're going to go up at the top where it says SCPH 1080 digital. Click that drop box. Um, let's see. Actually, I can probably keep it the way it is. So if you click, let's see. Yeah, so it's not gonna, it doesn't come up in the drop box menu, but if you click, you'll have to reassign the buttons to whatever buttons that are on your controller um, if you choose to use one or if you choose to use the keyboard by default uh, the the default gamepad is the keyboard so for me I like using uh, an Xbox controller I have uh, an Xbox for 60 controller that I'm going to be using for this video so I'm going to show you guys how to configure that so you would just click on whatever button you want to re remap and it'll say like edit button. So in this case, I'm editing the start button. Let's see. Uh, There we go. 
That's what it's supposed to say. I just have to close it and reopen it. So now we're going to configure it. Select. So now we're going to do R2, R1, L1, L2, or left trigger and right trigger. Up, down. That's right. And then triangle would be Y. And circle would be B. And X would be A. And then square would be X. So now the Xbox controller is configured. Um, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to video. We're gonna select our plugin and I usually go with PSX Emulation Cheater because I like using that program with this. And you also have Pete's OpenGL. That's what you're gonna have by default with the plugins that I've added to the plugin folder. We're gonna test it out, plugin works correctly. You can configure it and we're going to select the graphical processing unit plugin which is going to be Pete's OpenGL and we're going to configure that um, and here you can configure whether you want uh, EPS XT to be run in full screen or in a window um, you can change the resolution and the color depth and you can change the resolution when it's in window mode. Um, you can change the stretching and render settings, show the, the FPS when it starts up. You use frame skipping, FPS limit. So if you check that, then you can use FPS limit, which is set to 200 by default. Um, I don't use frame limiting on this because it runs pretty smooth. Um, You've got screen filtering options here. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Um, so this is good the way it is by default. So we'll just leave this alone for now. Um, actually, I'm gonna switch it to window just for the purpose of this video. Then, um, the sound, EPS 60, SPU core. Okay, we'll leave it on that. CD ROM, EPS 60, CDR, WNT, W2K core 1.7.0. That's the one that's going to be on by default. That one is fine. So your video, your sound, and your CD ROM plugins are all set up. Gamepad is all ready to go. Um, there are no pre-existing memory cards in the memory card folder. It's empty. So that will be created once you start your game, which is something that we are ready to do. So you can click, you can run a CD-ROM. So if you've got a file, you can pick, um, you can run the CD-ROM. Uh, you can run an ISO image. You can run PSEXE uh, or you can run the BIOS and you can change your disk. So uh, that's a good option to have. You can create uh, save states if you go to run and click on save state and you can load your save state. Uh, you can reset the emulator and then click continue. And options tab, you have an option that says auto load PPF files and cheat codes. Um, I'll do a separate video on how to set up cheats for this. Um, so for this video, we're going to be doing um, run ISO. So we're going to click on where the image is. We're going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so we're going to click on image. 
some important GPU functions are for executing aren't existing. And the currently selected GPU plugin going to crash now. Okay. Try that again. And there we go. The game has loaded and uh, EPSXC is all ready to go. EPSXC. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned. There's, there's more to come.